Hey, this is Katie Shaw, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with the lovely Katie Shaw. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. It's been about a year and a half since we first spoke, so we're just really glad we could do this, so thank you. Oh, of course. <laughs> Happy to be here. So you're now touring North America in Toronto tonight for your performance at the Rivoli. Yes. I noticed through your socials you really do like your emojis. So yeah. if you were to describe this tour using them, which would you use? Um, the one that's like this. You know that guy? Like the guy like, who's fairly uncertain but no, like happy? No, like the really excited kind oh, of smile. Okay. Like, either, like he either has to pee or he's really excited. Like that, that would yeah. be like hee 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 hee. Like that. You posted these photograph or a photograph on your Instagram and it was like a little almost candy heart with a yeah, 16 just in it. Yeah, too, yeah. What is the significance of that? Uh, 2016. Has it just been a fantastic year? Is it a new start? I'm just getting started. It's like a fresh start and I want to make this year my bitch, if that's okay to say. Totally okay um, to say. Yeah, so I'm excited. It's kind of like uh, if I get a tattoo to myself then it has to be true, right? You'd so hope. I'm commemorating. It'll be, it'll be a year, that's for sure. So <laughs> whatever happens, I'll remember it. <laughs> I know you have a few other tattoos mm -hmm. as well. Do you have a favorite one of yours? Oh, God. I know it's hard to choose. It is hard to choose. I mean, my first tattoo is always kind of special to me. I have three little birds here, which are for my siblings. Oh, nice. Um, and then I have one that I'm just working on. It'll probably be my favorite when I finish it, is my half sleeve, the Egon Shield paintings. But I don't know. It's, it's like choosing your favorite child. <laughs> I don't have any children yet, so um, I don't know. I think that, well, the new ones are always most exciting, too, because you just look, like, when I got my first tattoo, I cut all my shirts so that they so would show the tattoo, them, right? and now I'm like, crap, I don't have any shirts left that I've cut. <laughs> so it's kind of one of those situations, like, I just want this one all the time to be showing, but we'll see. And do you know the next one you're getting, or are you mainly just focusing yeah, on so your Yeah, so we'll be getting um, a ketchup memorial tattoo. Rest in peace, fly free little bird. Yeah. <laughs> My love bird, I don't know if you know about No. Her. So Ketchup, um, on the first EP, there's a song called Ketchup, and she's featured in the song. And she's, uh, I had her for seven years. She just passed away this uh, winter I'm in sorry. December. It's okay. We're, we're okay about it, but I want to get a little ketchup bottle for her. Aw, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> yeah. I want to, like, blow a lot of money on it. So. Yeah? Yeah, no tiny 16 for ketchup. She's going to get the big shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny because I saw on your Facebook your interests were lovebirds. So. Yes. Is that the your first one that you've had? Yes, or? first and only. So we'll see if I have the heart to get another. I don't. I don't not anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> When we first spoke, it was around the release of the Brooklyn EP. Yes. And since then, you've released some pretty fantastic singles. So I was curious, since your Twitter description actually says, I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> How are you feeling about this new material? Really, really excited. Uh, there's been kind of a big shift with me and yeah. my personal life and music and everything. So I'm really thinking that the new music is much more me and who I'm supposed to be. You know, I've only been making music as a thing for four years, which is nothing yeah. for most people. Um, so the first couple of things were at least samplers of me figuring out what I wanted to do and what I wanted to sound like. And then the Brooklyn EP came out and we started playing it uh, live. And I kind of discovered a lot through playing those recordings um, on stage. And the new music is much more informed by that kind of like live vibe and um, just how important it is, that groove and the way that it feels in a room. And so I, I think it's much more representative of who I am and, and the kind of stuff I want to make. And, you know, no more... Uh, kind of uh, gimmicks or anything, just like the music is, is gonna speak for itself, so I'm really happy about that. The thing that I'm really, really digging is actually the new video for Ransom. Thank you. Very sexy, I must say. It is yeah. a very good video. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like filming that? Oh, it was fun. I mean, it was uh, my friend Brian Russell Smith and I have done every video since uh, Human Contact with the exception of Walks All Over You. Um, we've directed together so oh, wow. um, it's always doing videos with him is like such a fun experience because the crew is like five people so it's just we're all nice friends and intimate. yeah I've had the same makeup artists like since before since Brooklyn Girls and it's we're all just really close so it's it's like a fun thing like even the sexy scenes like everyone's laughing and like I'm just like guys look how sexy I am and uh, <laughs> it's good that it doesn't come off that way on camera but it's so fun and like I, I wish it was still happening as soon as it's over Aww. yeah <laughs> I actually sing My Love is the Ransom, and I just think that's such cool imagery. Where did that come from originally? Like, how did that idea spark? Um, it's the first line that we wrote, um, Jay Levine and I, uh, was, uh, if I give you everything that you want. Um, and it just kind of all took off from there. We kind of 
I don't know, writing together, we'll sit down at the desk and the keyboard and he'll start playing something and I'll start singing and our brains kind of just come out of our heads and make this like <laughs> mega brain where you don't really know whose ideas are what. Um, but it's really just started with that, if I give you everything that you want. And we like thought it was fun to talk that fast. And then it was like, well, what does that mean? And got on this thing about hostages and what it, and that kind of being trapped in a relationship feeling. And it's all kind of across the board with the new music and reaches this kind of theme. And I think that was the first, like maybe thesis of what ended up happening for the rest of the album. So it's a special song for sure. We are kind of diving more into this 80s vibe as well. I yeah. Is that something that you recently discovered and found a love for or have you always enjoyed it? I mean, it? I, my first love after I, like, I had a country phase as a little girl and like went through rap and all these things, but I had a real disco phase that I was just obsessed, obsessed with like this pure disco CD and like I will survive and <laughs> I think I discovered I wanted to sing singing I will survive in the really? sixth, eighth grade talent show um, and then Jay, I don't know if you know anything about Jay Levine from uh, the Prozac and Philosopher Kings but he's got this kind of like 80s influence and I'm all into that 70s stuff and we kind of cross brain streams. <laughs> It makes sense. <laughs> no, but we like cross minds in this kind of like funky, like disco meets synth 80s place. And it's, we have this likeness in that area. So we found that space where both of us just groove so hard on it. And like, he's a bass player and like, I'm into that kind of like disco Funk. shit. So we get into it. <laughs> yeah. It's much more t like me now. What's your favorite disco song if you had to choose one? Would it be the one that told uh, you to sing? Don't Leave Me This Way. Or knock on wood, or I will survive. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Classic. you want to give us like a little taste, but oh my I'm God. totally putting you, you on the wish. spot. <laughs> <laughs> I will not survive that. No? Not today. Maybe next time. Yeah, I got to save it for the show, girl. That's I'm true. Sick. Do you hear this voice, honey? I'm getting over something, oh. too. A little nasally, but... It's bad. Yeah. It's been really bad. <laughs> and now you come to Canada on one of our coldest days. Yeah, it's ever. good. It's good. I'm just going to go stand outside for a few hours before the show, <laughs> see if that helps. You like freeze up my snot and it'll work. <laughs> Beautiful imagery yeah. right there. Hey, sexy Katie. <laughs> we know you for the performances, the releases, the great music, but outside of those things in your life, what do you like doing for fun? I mean, I'm a painter, at, first of all and foremost. I mean, I've always done that since I was since I can remember. Yeah, we've seen it a lot in your work. Too. Yeah, so I'm always drawing, and I just actually finished making my sister's wedding invitations, really? which was something that I really wanted to do at first, and then about halfway through the process, at like the 270th invitation, I Maybe was like, why did I do this? <laughs> like, I'm such a good sister. <laughs> um, so that I've been working on those a lot, and I've been knitting, and I love my cats, but I mean, painting is probably my number one thing other than music, but it all kind of just fades into one thing, yeah. really as far as I'm concerned. Awesome. Yeah. Well, very soon you're going to be hopping on that stage over there. Yes. It's so a nice stage. It's a very nice stage. I can't wait to see you up on it. Thank you. <laughs> so for the last question, uh -huh. anything you want to say to your fans who are going to be viewing? Oh, God. Um, I just can't wait to, to play more for you and for you to hear my new music. I think that's the biggest thing is to get that out there. And I feel like I'm like keeping a secret or something. So I'm ready to, to share. To unleash. Yes. Unleash the beast. Unleash. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your Absolutely. time. Absolutely. It's been, uh, feels like a long time coming to be sitting down with you, yeah. so I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah, and remember to everybody viewing, give it us at amusicblogger.com for all sorts of interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. We will see you next time. <laughs>